Hello, everyone. Hello, teacher. Hey, welcome back, Maria Elena. Thank you. I know you were sad last night because you couldn't yeah. connect. Okay. Yeah, I know. Well. <laughs> yeah, I have a little problem. The energy, the energy come back to this morning. Oh my God, the whole night. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Well, now you are ready. Did you watch the yes. video? No, because I have a, a lot oh. of work. Okay, the okay. thing is that yesterday we were talking about a new kind of new thing because I don't remember if you were in the topic would like to do you remember uh -huh. would like to so we develop yeah. that we develop that so it is important for you to watch the video okay oh, okay mm -hmm. hello wendy how are you tonight hello alejandra good evening Good evening, Wendy. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Hello, Good Alejandra. Evening. Good evening. Are you tired, Hi. girls? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Alejandra. How are you tonight? How are you? Good evening, teacher. Okay, yeah, I can hear you. I, I hear you well. Uh, let's see. Hello, Edwin. How are you tonight? We can't see you. Hello. There you are. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hey, guys, uh, I have some instructions to give. Uh, ahorita son bien poquitos, pero voy a empezar con la instru las instrucciones eh, ya prácticamente de salida del curso. Eh, les van a enviar una encuesta. Ok, esa se llama encuesta de satisfacción. Antes esa, cuando no era online, se presentaba físicamente, era como una carta, ¿verdad? Ahora eso ha cambiado, es un, eh, una encuesta que se llena, eh, se les mandan a ustedes el link para que ustedes puedan llenar la encuesta. Ahora, no es para que la llenen ustedes solitos, sino que la llenamos el último día de clases aquí juntos para que no haya ningún error. El asunto es que ahora es un poquito más estricto porque no puede, no, Insaform no admite errores en esas encuestas, ¿ok? Si en esa encuesta va algún error, eh, Insafor los reprueba. Entonces necesitamos que esperen. Ustedes vean que les llegó y confirmen que recibieron la, el link de la encuesta. Pero no lo vayan a abrir y lo vayan a desarrollar porque hay cosas que deben recibir también, que es una información para que ustedes copien y peguen esa información en la encuesta para evitar cualquier tipo de error y evitarles cualquier contratiempo a ustedes, porque ahora ya no admite ningún error. Insafor, ¿ok? ¿Se entiende, chicos? Ok, teacher. Me, me hacen favor y me yes. recuerdan de dar este anuncio al final de la clase también. Uh, la otra cosa es que ya estamos a punto de finalizar. Claro, ¿verdad? Eh, tenemos que tener al día las tareas para que el último día no nos ataque, ¿verdad? De que tenemos, nos va a dar ataque. <ríe> ok, 
que no tengamos alguna tarea que nos falte o el examen final. El examen final es algo largo, entonces tenemos que hacer las cuatro partes del examen final muy eh, ordenadamente para obtener el 100, ¿verdad? Uh, acuérdense, la calificación final se saca con el attendance, eh, uh, la Toda la calificación final de la plataforma, que la calcula la plataforma y eh, que se presente la tenda, eh, perdón, que se le se presente la encuesta de satisfacción. Esas tres cosas son sumamente importantes y las tres hacen que o nos reprueban o nos aprueban, ¿verdad? Lo, lo tremendo sí es que con... Uh, por el attendance les baja su calificación, ¿verdad? Pero ustedes siempre tírenle al 100. Siempre hay que esforzarnos, siempre hay que hacer todo lo que esté a nuestro alcance para aprender qué es lo más importante, ¿verdad? Y para practicar. Tenemos, como les repetía desde un inicio, el manual. Tenemos la plataforma, los foros de discusión en la plataforma. Eh, tenemos el chat de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Tenemos ejercicios que la teacher manda para que podamos tener una comunicación abierta y práctica, ¿verdad? Cualquier cosa que ustedes tienen duda del contenido, le preguntan a la teacher y la teacher con gusto les explica. También tenemos la asesoría uno a uno que son sumamente importantes para dilucidar las dudas, ¿verdad? Para resolver cualquier duda que ustedes tengan. Espero que hasta que a este momento ya estén inscritos o por lo menos reservados sus cupos para el siguiente módulo, ¿ok? El siguiente módulo, la, la fecha tentativa es el 28 de junio. Para iniciar, o sea que ustedes imagínense, ya van a ir al módulo 3. Yes, teacher, yes, we did it. ¿Ok? Ahora sí, ¿verdad? Van a ir al módulo 3 y este, hay que ir ya ubicando nuestra mente y nuestro oído a que vamos a ir ya hablando puro inglés, ¿verdad? Para que podamos practicar. Ese es el objetivo, que hablemos inglés, ¿verdad? Que entendamos el inglés, que leamos inglés, que escribamos inglés. Entonces, eh, tenemos que practicar lo más que podamos. En los días que no hay curso, ustedes sigan practicando con los mismos ejercicios. Ustedes los pueden volver a hacer, ¿verdad? Para eh, ir fijando ese conocimiento, ¿ok? ¿Algún comentario hasta este momento de lo que he hablado? No, teacher. Ok, ok. A ver, ¿nadie más? ¿Se entiende todo? ¿Estamos al tanto de toda la normativa y los procesos de INSAFORP acá para no, para no fallar? ¿Estamos al día con la información? Ok. Siendo así, vamos a continuar con nuestra clase del día de hoy. Ok. So, everybody, we're going to take the attendance. So, please. Turn on your cameras and say present. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Okay. okay. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. 
Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Okay. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Okay. Nancy Betova Rivera. Present teacher. Okay. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Okay. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Ok. Aurelena Segovia Rugamas. Ok. Ahí estamos. Ya nos falta poquito del manual, ¿verdad? Ya se fijaron. Y ya casi, ya casi terminamos. Solo son 48 páginas. Y lo hemos logrado, ¿verdad? Lo hemos logrado. Ahora, yo quiero que en la página 6 y en la página 7, ustedes vean el mapita que está ahí. Ahí hay un mapa, un cuadro, en donde ustedes pueden eh, confirmar el vocabulario que se les ha enseñado. ¿Ok? lo que hasta este momento debieran saber. Entonces, ahí en la página 6 y en la página 7, ustedes pueden ver lo que corresponde al vocabulario de la unidad 1, al vocabulario de la unidad 2, de la unidad 3 y de la unidad 4. ¿Ok? Entonces, el último tema que tenemos, chicos, el último tema, oh my God, es... How to request politely, ¿ok? Ya empezamos con would like to. Ahora vamos a seguir con can and could, ¿ok? Yes, teacher. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. So now we're going to see our objective for this class. And I want to share my screen first. Give me one second. And let's start. Okay, Wendy, can you read please the, I'm okay, um, sorry, the class objective for today? Participants will be uh, able, 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 able to make full for polite and um, formal re Use. requests okay Request. good so participants will be able to make good requests for polite and formal requests okay we are going to use also the form of can can so can and could this is the topic for today but the first thing that i want to ask you guys is what date is it today Uh-huh. What date is today? June 16th. Okay. June the 16th of uh -huh. 2021. Okay. Hey guys, I want to hear you all. Quiero escucharlos así como María Elena, okay? A ver, todos, everybody, what date is today? Today is what day is today? Uh -huh. Oh, 2021. Today is June. Uh huh. Today is June the sixteenth of two thousand twenty-one. 
June 16, 2021. Okay, this is very important how to say the date, guys. And it's part of this uh, module. So you should learn that in this module. Okay, so next thing that we are going to do today. Okay, is a little feedback. Hey, good evening. Okay, we are going to see here. One second, and let me let me go. Okay, vamos a hacer un poquito de feedback con would like to. Okay. Okay, here it is. Uh -huh. So what would you like to report? Let's imagine that we have a problem, okay? Let's imagine that we have a problem. And this problem, it's so important to be sol solved that you call to take support. You are calling take support and calling and calling. Someone answer the phone and then you make the request, okay? So. A ver, ¿quién quiere hacer la primera request? What would you like to report? Acordémonos de las tres formas que tenemos en nuestro manual para reportar un problema. Ways to report a problem. ¿Cuáles son esas maneras? I'd I like to like... report a problem. Excuse me? I would like to report a problem. Correct. What is the other? I would like to report... I would like to report an issue. Issue. Okay. Issue. Yes. I have. I have a trouble with. Mm -hmm. Have a problem. And I have trouble. Do you remember that? I have trouble with, and the other one was, I would like to, mm -hmm. la primera, I would like to report a problem, and then I would like to report an issue, right? Okay, correct. This is the way to report a problem. Okay, when they uh, they answer in tech support, they, then you say, I would like to report a problem. Entonces, ¿cuál es la pregunta que continúa después de esta pregunta? ¿Cuál es la pregunta que continúa después de esta pregunta? What is the problem, right? What is the problem? En todo caso, ¿qué es lo que yo quiero reportar? Esa sería I'm sorry, la siguiente pregunta. Ok. What, will, what would you like to report? What would you like to report? Ok. So, it's the same as if I say, what is it? Right? Uh oh. My connection is unstable. What is the problem? Can you tell me some problems? ¿Qué problemas podemos tener para reportar a Tech Support? A ver. Do you remember? Crossing the screen. Okay. No internet access. <clears throat> Oh, and today I don't have the thing. I'm going to get this. Okay, les voy a compartir la, el vocabulario de los problemas, okay? Okay. 
here we are. And I'm going to erase this one. A ver, quiero que me los digan. Okay, what is the problem? I am able to log in. Good. Okay. What is the problem? Uh-huh. I'm unable I, to log in, right? I'm unable to log in. I am. I am. Well, <laughs> teacher. Okay, abramos la boca. Let's open our mouth and say, I'm unable I'm to log in. Unable to log in. Log in. No se dice con Y, sino que con G. 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 Log in. I able to log in. Okay. I'm unable to log in. Okay. This one, right? I'm unable to log in. ¿Y qué dijimos que era eso? I unable to log in. Ajá. Uh, no puedo entrar. No puedo ingresar. Exactamente. Exactamente. Sí. Fíjate que no puedo entrar. <laughs> okay. Something like that. I'm unable to log in. Ajá. Uh -huh. What other problem can we have to report? Mm -hmm. My computer doesn't recognize the USB, USB device. Mm, device. Okay. This is very important vocabulary that you have to learn. Uh-huh. Tell me, tell me. The file doesn't open. The file, okay? The file doesn't open. Doesn't open. I have no internet access. Good. I have no internet access. Mm-hmm. What other problem can we report? I keep losing access to the wireless connection. Very good. Mm -hmm. And now, this is a feedback about the problems, but now let's talk about the solutions. What solution can you uh, imagine that tech support can give us? The obvious, right? The obvious. Les voy a enviar un link. I'm going to send a link. And there are some common issues. Y ahí vamos a detectar algunas soluciones como obvias, ¿ok? Déjenme borrar esto. Now let's go to here. Okay, right now I'm going to send a link and um, vamos a leer así como descremadito direct, directamente a buscar, okay, a buscar las soluciones, the solutions. So in this chat from Zoom, I'm going to send this link is the top 10, right? It's a top 10 of... Uh, reported issues to tech support. So there you have it. Now let me go to WhatsApp for those who can't access from the chat at Zoom. Okay, there you are. Ya lo pueden ver? Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Now let's Top think 10. about I... the first problem. Um... No lo vayan a traducir, chicos. Okay. Mm. 
Ajá, ya, ya me sé esa técnica. Ok. No lo vayan a traducir. Please, do not translate. I am, I am you know about to blow in. Ajá. What do you think it could be a, an obvious solution? Some obvious um, solutions. <clears throat> Ahí están descritas. Vamos a ver. This is easily fixes. Easily, ajá. Uh -huh. Easily. Ajá. Uh, uh -huh. Make sure you have. Um, Ok, busquemos la solución así como obvia. En el mero momento le empiezan a decir a uno, ¿ya revisaste esto? Did you check this? Did you check that? Ajá, uh -huh. so what is the first thing that we can say to the person who can't log in? Ahí hay una pregunta bien bonita entre paréntesis. Is the cup look key? On. On, per, per, uh -huh. per, perhaps. Perhaps means perhaps. maybe. Perhaps mm. is the same as we say maybe. So, for example, we can say, Edwin, please check your caps lock key. Caps lock key. ¿Cuál es esa? El bloqueo uh -huh. de mayúsculas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Capital uh -huh. lock. Capitals lock. Ah, entonces va usted y busca. Ah, por eso no podía entrar, hombre, si estaban las mayúsculas puestas. ¿Ok? ¿You get it? <laughs> so, these are obvious solutions. Uh -huh. What other solution? Easily. When easily. Easily. Mm -hmm. What other solution for that problem? I'm unable to log in. What do I have to take note or notice? ¿Qué le, qué le puede decir el de tech support? ¿O qué puede usted hacer para arreglar ese problema? De que no puede What entrar. Your password, right? Your password. Your password. Maybe you are typing wrong your password or you forgot your password, okay? What other thing? Si es imposible y ya no se acuerda y es que me la cambiaron y la noté por allá y oh, la perdí. I lost the password. ¿Cuál podría ser la solución <coughs> obvia? Reset. Reset your Reset password. Your pa Good. Ah, reset, reset your password. Entonces, tenemos que ver que hay cosas muy sencillas que ya las conocemos dentro del de lenguaje de nuestro diario, ¿verdad? Nuestro diario vivir con las computadoras. Todos sabemos que es reset, right? ¿Qué es reset? Reiniciar, ¿verdad? Reset. Uh -huh. Reset. Okay. And it says maybe your password have expired. It doesn't work anymore and they have to give you a new one. Okay. Now let's see, for example, an obvious solution for the dreaded blue screen of death. Number two, uh huh. What do you think? A buscar, a buscar, a buscar. Mm -hmm. This problem is usually related to power uh -huh. or a driver that is not working correctly. It usually happens after you install a new piece, uh -huh. yes, piece. piece. Of power or piece of power or update some drivers. Okay, good. So we may know that when you install a new uh, program or maybe um, 
you don't have the drivers for that program installed in your computer, uh, maybe you have to go and download those drivers, right? Those drivers. Usually the firewall stops. Usualmente el firewall o el antivirus nos detiene, ¿verdad? Para bajar algunos drivers. Entonces, ¿quién nos puede ayudar con eso? Who can help us with that? IT. Eso. Support help desk. Correct. Correct. Ok, and then, ustedes le pueden dar una leída a eso. Ya tenemos el vocabulario en el slide, ahí, para que ustedes puedan ir buscando las obvias soluciones que se pueden dar. Pero eso sí, quiero que noten algo. Siempre IT support is going to ask questions okay always you have to answer questions siempre para resolver un problema empiezan las preguntas entonces qué es lo más importante aprender how to ask and how to answer the questions okay so let's see then we are going to the next part okay we are going to the next part just give me one second and i'm going to get there Oops. Here it is. I'm going to share this slide. Entonces vamos a aprender a hacer las preguntas. Okay. We're going to learn how to ask questions using would you like in this case. Okay. Would you like to, I'm sorry, uh, sería would like to, would like to. Es una estructura que podemos utilizar cuando queremos expresar lo que queremos de una manera muy cortés, ¿ok? ¿Para qué nos sirve would like to? To request politely, ¿ok? Or to uh, make invitations. Okay, for invitations, we can use like to. And um, also we can um, uh, make these questions to offer, to offer our help, okay? So, imaginemos en este momento que estas, en esta columna, son la lista de cosas que yo quisiera decirle a mi jefe que haga, okay? Obviamente a mi jefe no voy a llegar a decirle directo, ¿verdad? Una orden. O lo hacen. No, right. We have to be very polite because that's the boss. Ok. So, imagínense que ustedes hicieron alguna cosa y el jefe les tiene que revisar algo. Entonces, cuando el jefe les revisa algo y les devuelve las observaciones, eso se llama feedback, ¿ok? Eso se, cuando les devuelve las, las eh, correcciones que le haya hecho a su trabajo, eso se llama feedback. Let's imagine that you are asking to your boss to give you his or her feedback, ¿ok? La forma puede ser así. Ok, una manera muy polite, very polite. I'd like you to give me your feedback. Ok, I'd like you to give me your feedback. I'd like you to give me your feedback. Recordemos entonces que después de would like, que va acá, ponemos el pronombre de la persona que queremos que haga la acción. Ok, se fijan acá. Do you see? Here we have you. Correct. I'd like you to give me your feedback. So next thing, ¿cómo le pediríamos al jefe 
que queremos un día libre o algo de tiempo libre. Necesitamos pedir un permiso. Ok. Aquí tenemos un ejemplo. Here we have an example. Who wants to read it? Let's see, Kevin. I like to reduce some time off. Okay. It means that you are doing this with the most respect that you can say that, okay? Entonces, esta es una forma muy respetuosa. Quiere decir que es un lenguaje muy formal para hablar con su jefe y también con sus compañeros de trabajo, okay? Compañeros de otros departamentos. Podemos hablar de esta manera. Y esta es la manera que debe predominar dentro de nuestro ambiente de trabajo. Muy respetuosa. Very respectful. Ok. So, let's see. I'd like to request some time off. I'd like to request some time off. Now, let's see. If you want to talk to your boss. ¿Cómo le dice usted al jefe? Hey, mire jefe, yo quiero hablar con usted. Uh -huh. pero en una manera muy profesional uh -huh. here we have it let's see Juan Carlos can you read it I like to talk to you ok I'd like to talk to you ok I'd like to talk to you let's use intonation and very respectful way ok we, we say I'd like to talk to you I'd like to talk to you ahora veamos For example, nosotros necesitamos que el jefe nos envíe, ¿verdad? Algo por el email. Le voy a decir, ve, usted no me envió el email. Mire, envíeme el email. No, ¿verdad? ¿Podría usted enviarme el email? ¿Verdad? Uh, entonces, eso es lo que hacemos acá. Can you read that, please, Giovanni? I'd like you to send a new procedure. Mm, pro, procedure. Procedure. Good. Guide. Guidelines. Guidelines by email. Very good, Giovanni. Thank you very much. Thank you. So now we can say it correctly. It will be, I'd like you to send the new procedure guidelines by email. I'd like you to send the new procedure guidelines by email. Se lo estamos diciendo de una manera very polite, okay? Now, imagínese que usted le quiere reportar a su jefe algo que está pasando en su área, an issue, a situation. Veamos este reporte que está acá, okay? Let's read it, please. Uh, let's see, um, Carlita. Okay. I, I like to report that we are closing the office one hour later just as you wish. Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Carlita. So here we are reporting something that we are doing accomplishing or um, obeying to an order, okay? Estamos cumpliendo con la orden que el jefe nos dio y lo queremos reportar. So I'd like to report that we are closing the offices one hour later, just as you wish, okay? Just as you wish. ¿Esto qué significa? Así como usted lo pidió, así como usted desea, okay? Just as you wish just as you wish. Okay, digámoslas todas. Activate your audio and let's say from this to this. I'd like you to give me your feedback. I'd like, like you to, to, give, to give, you give me your, your, give feedback. your feedback. I'd like you, I'm sorry, I'd like to request some time off. I'd, I'd like, like, like to request, request some time, time off. off. I'd like to talk to you. Cerremos bien la letra de I'd. I'd like to. I'd like to. 
Okay, very good. I'd like you to send the new procedure guidelines by email. I'd like you to send the new procedure guidelines by email. Okay, new procedure guidelines. New procedure guidelines. O sea, como los pasos del nuevo procedimiento, ¿ok? The new procedure guidelines. New procedure guidelines. Ok. Thank you. Now, let's say the last one. I'd like to report that we are closing the offices one hour later, just as you wish. I'd like to report Okay. Hour, hour later. 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 Very good. So now let's see some things that we can request to our colleagues. Okay, let's imagine that you are talking to your colleague and you want to do it respectfully, okay? So you want that your colleague answers the phone, okay? So in this case, this is the think that we want him or her to do. Please answer the phone, right? So, ¿cómo lo decimos en una forma polite? Uh -huh. Aquí está. I'd like you to answer the phone. Correct. So, if you want to ask for some help to your colleague, what is the way to ask for that help? I hear you. Um, here you have it. I'd like. Aquí lo tenemos. I'd like you to help me with this, okay? There you have it. I'd like you to help me with this. This is very polite, okay? The next one, take a look on something. Usted quiere que su uh, compañero de trabajo le eche un vistazo a algo que usted ha hecho, algún trabajo y usted quiere saber su visto bueno, ¿verdad? Then this is the way to request this politely. I'd like you to take a look on this brochure. En este caso, esta persona hizo un brochure. I'd like you to take a look on this brochure I'm sending. Okay. Él está enviando ese brochure, pero primero quiere, él quiere enviar ese brochure, pero primero quiere que lo vea su compañero de trabajo. Okay. I'd like you to take a look on this brochure I'm sending. Okay. You get it? Now, I'd like you to come to a party. Ah, that's an invitation, okay? This is an invitation. I'd like you to come to a party. I'd like you to come to a party. Quiero que vengas a una fiesta, okay? I'd like you to come to a party. Do you have any question at the moment? Questions? No, no questions? questions? No okay. questions. Now, let's see. This is the way, okay, where we are going to offer. Okay? We are going to offer in this way. Usualmente, la, cuando nosotros ofrecemos algo de una manera uh, cortés, es una pregunta. Okay? It's a question. For example, it says, would you like to go out tonight? Would you like to go out tonight? ¿Qué le está preguntando? Que si nos gustaría salir esta noche. 
Okay, very good. So let's read number two. Would you like to rest now? Would you like to rest now? Uh-huh. Let's see number three. Would you like to eat early today? Would you like to eat early today? Let's see number four. Would you like to eat pupusas next Sunday? Would you like to eat pupusas next Sunday? Ahora, para contestar estas ofertas, okay? Si usted acepta la oferta, no va a decir, yes, I would, okay? O no, I wouldn't, no. Vamos a decirlo de esta manera. Si usted acepta, okay? Oh, yes, thanks. Yes, thanks. For example, would you like to go out tonight? Yes, thanks. Si usted acepta. Pero si usted, uh, if you refuse or if you reject the offer, you don't want to, then you say, no, thanks. No, thanks. Okay. También respondemos de manera polite. Okay, I'm going to ask the questions and you say if you accept the offer or if you reject the offer. Si ustedes se fijan, hay diferentes maneras de rechazar la oferta, ¿verdad? Mire, for example, y todo depende del contexto, del contexto que le preguntan. Por ejemplo, would you like to eat early today? Podríamos decir, uh, that's, uh, that's all right. O podríamos decir, not now, perhaps later. Ok. Podríamos decir, no, thanks. O podríamos decir, that's ok. That's ok. Would you like to eat early today? No, oh, that's ok. For example, if I ask, um, would you like to rest now? Oh, that's all right. Sí, está bueno. Vamos a descansar, ¿verdad? So, would you like to rest now? That's all right. Ahora, vamos a ver. Do you have any question at the moment? No questions? Yes, questions? Ok, vamos a ver, entonces voy a decir dos nombres. El primero que digo hace la pregunta y el segundo que digo responde, ok? Now let's share it again. Ok, let's see. Nancy and Edwin. Okay, and number one. Yes, please. How you how you like to go out, Tony? Tony? Would you like to go out tonight? Um, tonight. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Thanks. Okay. Good. Uh, Very good, Edwin. Very good, Nancy. Ahora, veamos que aquí tenemos una bien bonita para aceptar, así como me encantaría, right? I'd love to. I'd, que significa I would love to. Okay? I'd love to. I'd love to. Okay? Now, I'm going to say other two names. Wendy and... Carla. Two. Yes, please. Would you like to rest now? Mm -hmm. The answer. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Now, Kevin and Juan Carlos. Kevin and Juan Carlos. Um, would you like to eat early today? 
No, tent. Okay. Now, Omar and. See. Sí. And Ana Cristina. Okay. Uh, would you like to eat pupusas next Saturday? Next Sunday, pardon. Would you like to like, eat pupusas next Sunday? Thanks. Okay. That's okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay, in este caso, that's okay, that's okay. También se puede utilizar aquí en accepting the offer, okay? En este caso particular de la número cuatro, okay? That's okay. Correcto. Okay, now let's see. We are going to continue. And let's see this conversation. Ok. Usualmente cuando llamamos a tech support, usually when we call tech support, uh, they have to feel, uh, I'm sorry, to file a complaint. File a complaint. El formato o el formulario que la compañía tenga establecido se llama complaint form. Complaint form. Ok. Usted llena ahí su, su reporte, ¿verdad? Del problema. Ok, complain es queja. Ok. Para poder llenar un complaint form, you need to understand the problem. You need to express the problem correctly. Ok. So let's see this conversation between Mike and Maria. Okay, Mike and Maria. And it says, thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal, the computer, right? I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Uh, let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. En este caso particular, what do you think it is happening? What do you think it is happening? What do you think is happening in there? Mm, very slow. Mm -hmm. uh, five, uh, complaint. Okay. Complaint. Okay. In this case, it's file a complaint. File a complaint. Uh huh. Which one is the problem? What is the problem here? Um, she can cannot use his com her computer because uh, it doesn't to run. Okay, it doesn't run correctly, right? It means like it is kind of slow. So in that case, she is asking for what? What is she requesting? Or what is the solution that IT is uh, providing here? What is the solution that IT is providing? ¿Cuál es la solución que le da el de IT? What is the solution? Send someone. Uh -huh. Someone. The Can uh -huh. send a new computer. 
<laughs> okay, that's the solution. That is the solution. They can send a new computer in a short time, but she needs to file a complaint form. So he is going to send someone to um, uh, someone with the with the complaint form for this per, uh, for Maria can sign it, okay, and send it. So let's see and let's um, practice this conversation. Let's practice this conversation. So I want to hear two of you. Quiero escuchar a dos de ustedes, okay. Astrid and Vladimir, please. Astrid Maria, Ma, uh, Mike is Vladimir. Thank you for kind and AT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa. And I need to fill a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to air at Please describe, describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it did turn on today. That's me. Uh, Sends someone. Huh? Someone with a complaint for we can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. Este Mario es Mike, okay? Ese Mario está ahí de, de Chutuy, pero es Mike. Okay. Es otra persona. Yeah, it's a different one, different agent. Okay. okay, yeah, but no, it's Mike, it's Mike. You are welcome. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, you did a good job uh, with this conversation. Uh, me gustaría incluso oírlos como más así, más sueltecitos en el sentido de que tengan confianza. Aquí no les vamos a decir, uy, no, les vamos a decir excellent por el esfuerzo que están haciendo. Ahora, algo que les va a ayudar mucho para leer es que no se detengan en la palabra que no sepan. Ok, no se detengan en esa palabra, siga, siga hasta llegar al punto, ¿verdad? O al signo de puntuación para que los demás que estamos escuchando le tomemos el sentido, ¿verdad? Ok, so now we want to hear Maria Elena and Giovanni. <laughs> ah, who, who, who say, who say me? me. <laughs> Edwin. Yes. Ok, Maria Elena and Edwin, <clears throat> there you go. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint for we can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, very good. You did a good job, guys. Very, very good. So do you have any question about the vocabulary in this conversation, guys? Questions about the vocabulary here? Are we okay so far? Any question? Okay, no questions. Very good. So let's go to our manuals. Let me go there because from this way it doesn't share. Okay, so I have to go close this and open the other. Okay, here we are. Just let me go there. Aquí ya sabemos cuál es el problema, ¿verdad? Here we know what the problem is. A ver, and also we know the solution. We, we know the solution now. 
okay? But to have this solution done or to solve the problem, they have to file the complaint form, okay? File the complaint form. Pero antes de ir a la complaint form, veamos por favor and let's discuss these two questions. Okay? Let's discuss these two questions about the conversation. Number one, who wants to read it? Who wants to read number one? What expression does my use to show a solution in progress? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Saying a new computer. Okay. With someone. Uh huh. Okay. But was uh, I mean, what was the first expression that he is thinking on a solution? And he starts with the first step of the solution. What is the first step of the solution here? Let me send someone with a complaint form. Okay, so that is the first step in progress, in progress, okay? And after that, to have it solved, he says, uh, we can send a new computer in no time, but first you have to file the complaint and I'm going to send someone with a uh, complaint form. Okay, there you go, very good. Now, let's see number two. Juan Carlos, can you read it, please? What seemed to be the problem with the computer? Okay. What seems to be the problem with the computer? Mm -hmm. It was a very slow. Yesterday, right? Yesterday it was very slow, so it wasn't working well. So what happened today? It didn't turn on. Okay, okay. Aquí estamos utilizando un pasado, ¿verdad? Estamos utilizando un tiempo pasado. Podríamos haber dicho, and it doesn't turn on. Ok, para hacerlo en tiempo presente y suena muy bien también. Ok, podríamos haber dicho, it doesn't turn on today. Ok, so what seems to be the problem with the computer? It was very slow yesterday and it doesn't turn on today. Correct? Now let's continue here in our manuals. Let's think, eh, a, a ustedes se les ha arruinado algo en, la, en, en su trabajo, algo que ustedes usan, por ejemplo, su computadora, or your mobile, or maybe a tablet, or... Um, the uh, mouse. Okay, the mouse. Okay, very good. So now, here in this, what do we have to do? We have to choose a device, Let's choose a device and let's think about the problems that we can have with that device. Vamos a pensar en los problemas que yo puedo tener con este device, okay? For example, with the printer, with the printer, it doesn't turn on, aha. Uh -huh. What other problem can we say about the printer? What other problem can we say about Oh, what happened with printers? To paper. Aha, okay, okay. It has stock paper, right? Stock paper. What other problem? What other problem can we think? ¿Se recuerdan del vocabulario que vimos ayer? Y de los eh, fotos que vimos. Uh 
Mm -hmm. What other problem can we have with printers? I have no internet access. Okay, but with a printer? Con un impresor? Sí, teacher, hoy así funcionan algunos. Okay, so, with a Bluetooth, right? Wi-Fi. No tiene tinta. <laughs> okay, Why? it doesn't it doesn't have ink on it, okay? It doesn't have ink. Uh-huh. What else? Uh, you said uh, it doesn't connect to internet. Okay, let's say that. Yeah, with the Bluetooth, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now let's think about other device. Edwin said about the mouse. ¿Qué creen ustedes que puede suceder con un mouse? A mouse. Desconectado. Ajá. Okay. Ajá. Que se so. le es que me, me, me acordé de eso porque este ahora pasó algo así de que, pero no fue conmigo, sino que escuché y de repente hablaron a, a, para que le fueran a ver la, la, el mouse y llevaban un, un mouse nuevo, pero en realidad solo se le había desconectado. Oh, ok, ok, it was not connected. Ah, ok. Otra cosa que puede ser con el mouse es que the USB port is not working, okay? The USB port is not working where the mouse is connected, right? So the USB port is not connecting, okay? Podríamos decirlo así, aunque por ahí tienen ustedes el vocabulario correcto. Uh, pero es para otro tipo de cosa, pero veámoslo, veámoslo porque por ahí está. Let's see it. Let me go there. A ver, ¿quién se recuerda? ¿Quién lo tiene ya ahí? About the USB port. La oración que teníamos ahí. Ajá, uh -huh, let's... The, my computer doesn't recognize the USB device. My computer doesn't recognize the USB device. Ajá, no reconoce el dispositivo de USB, right? Okay, good. So the US, okay, here will be like this. Okay, there you are. What other problems uh, do you think we can have with a mouse? Uh, someone said, Christina, I think she said about the battery, right? Okay. How can we say that? Uh, low battery, let's say, low battery. There you are. Low battery. Entonces, ¿qué tenemos que hacer? To replace the battery, right? To replace the battery. Okay, there you are. So now we go to see the complaint form. This is an example or a template of a complaint form. Este es como un formato, right? They can be different from one company to another company. Estos pueden ser diferentes de una compañía a otra. But usually they contain the same information. Usually they contain the same information. For example, you have to say the name or write the name of the person who is reporting the problem, who is complaining, right? So you write the name here. So we could ask, 
uh, what is your full name? Right? What is your full name? Esa podría ser una pregunta porque usted la va a llenar eh, preguntándole a la persona que se está quejando. So, what is your full name? And then you write a date. Ok. Y ahora ya saben cómo se dice la fecha, ¿verdad? The home phone number, the work phone number, the fax number. ¿Cómo preguntamos el número de teléfono? How do we ask for the uh, telephone number? Una pregunta. What's your phone? Excellent. You. Go ahead, Edwin. Uh -huh. uh, may, teacher, maybe what, you? what, what your phone number? Yes. Phone number. Okay. Yes, phone number. number. Okay. Yes, what's your phone number? We have to add that word, number. What's your phone number? And if we want to specify what number do we need, so as this uh, here, it says home phone number, right? So what is your, your home phone number? What is your work phone number? What is your fax number? Pero si es dentro de la misma compañía, pues obviamente no va a llevar home phone number. En este caso yo digo, me, I can imagine que por ejemplo usted llama a la compañía de, de servicio de internet and ahí sí le preguntarían, ¿verdad? When you report a problem with your, um, your internet service, then what is your home phone number, right? What is your work phone number? And what is your fax number if they have to send some uh, other information? And then the address. What is your address? What is your address? Then what is your email address? What is your email address? Aha, porque les decía que es muy importante saber describir el problema. Mm -hmm. Because in this space, we need to describe, we need to describe the nature of the complaint. We have to identify the equipment in question and the problem, okay? And obviously, we need the signature of this person. Por ejemplo, si algo se, se quiebra en su compañía, digamos, eh, no sé, se le cayó la laptop y se arruinó y se quebró con todo y, y todo, Okay, where do you report it? ¿A quién le reporta? ¿A dónde lo reporta? Where do you report that? Who do you report that? And how do you report that? A ver. Opinions. Who do you have to call? ¿A quién le pregunta? ¿A quién le reporta? ¿A dónde lo reporta? ¿Y cómo lo reporta? How do you report it? Where do you report it? Guys? In my work, uh, I report to uh, computer teacher. Oh, okay. Okay. And he helps you. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Yeah, because he knows how to, right? How to repair or something like that. Okay. Yeah. The, uh huh. Anyone else? Okay. Now. We are not going to fill it right now. Ok, no vamos a llenarla en este mismo instante porque quiero que veamos algo más. Ok, something else. Teacher va a pasar lista. Thank you very much. Yes, we are going to take the attendance at this very moment. Thank you very much. Chicos, ya casi estamos por salir, ¿verdad? 
Ya estamos en la recta final. Yes, teacher. We are almost in the module three. Yeah. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodríguez. Present teacher. Y va a seguir con nosotros. I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't think so. I don't think you're. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, nos, nos sortean. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, teacher. Yes. Now let's see. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Ani, I see. Do you feel okay, Ana? Ani? Present teacher. Uh, okay. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramirez. Present teacher. Okay. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Present teacher. Okay. Cabal, cierren su micrófono y ábranlo cuando digan presente. Now let's see. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. No, Carlos today. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sánchez. Present. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Um, Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Nancy Ivette Tobar Rivera. Present teacher. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present teacher. Ok. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present, teacher. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Okay, there we are. Thank you very much for reminding me about the attendance list. No me puse el rotulito, ¿verdad? Oh. <laughs> I said yesterday que me iba a poner aquí un rotulito. Pase lista, pase lista. <laughs> okay, there we are. Pero yo sé que ustedes son muy colaboradores y me recuerdan. Vamos a ver. Uh, we were talking about the things that are broken or ruined in your workplaces. Hay cosas que se arruinan o o necesitan una atención, a quién le reportamos, a quién le decimos, ok, esa persona que llega, ok, nos ofrece una solución. Now let's see, what are the solutions for some other problems? This is just to share. Okay. Okay. Possible actions to solve common problems at the workplace. Let's see the verbs that we have in this list. Veamos los verbos que hay en esta lista. Let's see the verbs that we have in this list. Let's look at the first one. Repair. 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 
Repair. Repair. Repair. Repair. Repair. Repair. Repair. Check. Repair. Check. Check. Fix. Check. Fix. Check. Fix. 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 Replace. 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 Reprogram. Reprogram. Reset. 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 Update. 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 Ok. Cuando pronunciamos, el tip que les doy es que abran la boca donde hay que abrirla y hay que cerrarla donde hay que cerrarla. Por ejemplo, reprogram. Ah, tiene una M al final. Le decía yo a una compañerita de ustedes que eh, en nuestro idioma no tenemos palabras que terminen en M. Por eso nuestro cerebro, cuando nosotros pronunciamos, por ejemplo, what's your name, no cerramos al final, ¿verdad? Name. Porque no tenemos palabras en español que terminen con esa, ese sonido mm, al final. Entonces, tenemos que enseñarle al cerebro a pronunciar esa letra del final para que tenga sentido. Digamos esta palabra, reprogram. Reprogram. Program. 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 Excellent. Program. Very good. Very good. Program. Cada vez que ustedes vean una palabra que termine en M, pónganle atención y cierren mm al final, ¿ok? Para que tenga sentido. No digan N al final como N o no digan E al final, ¿ok? Digan M. Por ejemplo, what's your name? What's your name? M, M, ¿ok? Problem, problem, ¿ok? There you are. For example, in the complaint form, in the complaint form, we could use these verbs, okay? Podemos poner estos verbos porque eso es lo que estamos solicitando, okay? Estamos solicitando, I, will, I would like you to repair. I would like you to check my computer. I would like you to fix my mouse, I would like to uh, you to fix the photocopier. I would like you, you to teacher? fix is uh, componer, reparar. Okay, this is kind of a synonym with repair, okay? It's kind of a, a synonym, synonym of repair. So fix, repair are kind of similar, okay? Fix. Por ejemplo, los vehículos, you could say, can you fix my car? Okay, al mecánico, right? Can you fix my car? Oh, um, it needs to be a repair, right? It needs to be repaired. Okay, now let's think, is it okay, Giovanni? Yes. Okay. Now, replace. Replace. Renew. Replace. Renew. Replace. Replace. Okay. Renew. Cuando nosotros decimos replace, is that we want they take this computer and they bring a new computer. They can also repair, replace pieces. También pueden um, reponer o poner una nueva pieza, ¿verdad? Renew, renew es que tienen que renovar, ¿ok? Tienen que renovar todo. Now, reinstall es que tienen que volver a hacer todo el proceso, ¿verdad? Reprogram es parecido a reinstall, pero no es igual, ¿ok? That's maybe their internal process, right? And now let's see, reset, we know, and update, we know, okay? 
So, ahorita no vamos a llenar la uh, the, the complaint form because we want to see some other things first, okay? Okay. Okay, ahorita ya sabemos, now we know how to identify the problem, how to report the problem, we know how um, to express what the problem is. We know, uh, or we can identify some solutions. We know the process that we have to file a complaint form, okay? And now we are going to ask the questions, okay? We are going to ask the questions. Porque para eso, uh, para las preguntas, para llenar esa complaint form, okay? Necesitamos ser polite, okay? We need to be polite when we ask for some information, when we request for some information. Para eso utilizamos can y para eso utilizamos could, okay? Vamos a ver eso. Okay, to get some information, okay? Now let's see here, let me share the screen. We're going to see a conversation that we have in our manuals, okay? In our manuals, we have this conversation in page 47, in page 47. Now let me share the screen for you. Okay, here we are. Max and Joe are uh, having this conversation and it's about some problems, right? So let's see. Hello, Hello this, this is, is Max. Max. Okay. Let me read it for you, okay? And it says, hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for peeps.com. We received the new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's an OT page max 30. Okay. First, make sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install, okay? Ahora tenemos otros, otros, otras formas de instalarlo, ¿verdad? Ahora ya casi que con CD ya, ya no se hace, ¿verdad? Ahora se hace más con los drivers de que los bajamos, ¿verdad? O inmediatamente los reconoce y los baja. Now, let's see. Let's see this conversation again. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for peeps.com. We received the new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Uh, can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's an OT page max 30. Okay, first make sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, Click on complete install, okay? Now, vamos a ir a los, um, a las salas, okay? Ustedes van a completar esto de acá, okay? 
Porque si se fijan las preguntas que tenemos acá son, could you help me please? Could you help me please to be polite? To be polite. Could you tell me the model? Can you hold on a, on a second, please? Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Okay. Entonces, vamos a ir a practicar esta conversacioncita. Y luego cuando regresemos, vamos a ver cómo llenamos ese complaint form using these kind of questions. Okay. Vamos a ver. Oh. Hello, good evening. Hello, Hello. Carlos. <laughs> Hello. Eh, muy bien. Voy a, a compartir eh. la, la conversación. Ok. ¿Usted es Mike, Max o Joy? Eh, si gusta, puedo ser yo. Max. Uh -huh. Sí, ok. Cabal. Ok. Permítame. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ok. Eh, hello. This is Max from Tichopor. How, how can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joy. I work for Pips.com. We receive the new printer and I need help setting it up. Would you help me, please? No problem, Joy. Could you tell me the models? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Um, it's a multi page mix series. Okay. It. First, make sure that the power power port is plug, plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Uh, second. Check that the install, installation CD is in the tray. And there, uh, once. once the menu opens on the screen, click on complete install. Pero install. Okay. Okay. Appears, oh, it says. Once the menu appears, Cuando el menú aparece, once the menu appears, appears. on the screen, uh -huh. once the menu appears on the screen, uh -huh. click on complete start. There you are. So now it's turn to switch. Switch the ah. roles. Ah, okay. Uh, Yo me llevo fill, fill in the blank. Use the conversation about to help yourself. Juan Carlos, switch yes. the roles. Cambien los papeles. Cambien. Switch the roles. Ah. Uh -huh. ah, okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. I am Max. Hello, this is Max from the Frontish Supper. How can how can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joy. I work for Pipscom. We received the new print, the new printer, and and I need help setting it up. Can can you can could you help you, you? Could you could you help me, please? No problem, Joy. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's uh, Altipace M uh, X. Uh, so, sorry. Okay. Please make sure that the power cord is plugged in. Plugged in. Plugged in. Plugged in. Mm -hmm. uh, right, is could you tell me what it needs to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the try and cheer once the menu appears on the screen. Click on complete install. Okay, very good. So now you have to figure it out. And the activity number three, okay? So okay. you continue, you continue, I'm going to another room, okay? Okay. okay. There you Thank are. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. Ya no está hablando. Bye. Bye, que creo que ya no está hablando. No, todavía no. Okay, iniciamos de nuevo. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Um, hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Pixcom. We say the new printer. And I need her sitting up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's a util page, Max 3. Okay, first, make sure that the power cord is plugged in. <clears throat> All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD it is in the tray. And third, once the menu appear on the screen, clip on complete install. Mm -hmm. Okay. Otra vez. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Quién inicia? ¿Usted o yo? Okay, girls. <laughs> no <me acuerdo. laughs> Hello, girls. <laughs> Okay. Hello, teacher. Okay, you have to figure it out in the activity number three. Okay, complete the activity okay. number three over there. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm going to another room. You are doing a good job. Thank you. Okay, there you are. Pero yo no, yo, yo no la tengo completa.
Okay, people. Let's see here this, uh, this thing. You practiced the conversation and you noticed that there are some questions here. Estas preguntas son para eh, recabar información de una manera muy polite, ¿verdad? Una forma en que no se sienta así directa y pesada, ¿ok? A very polite way to request for information, ¿ok? In this case, for example, when we say could, ¿ok? No pronunciamos la letra L. Decimos could. Everybody, could. Could, could, y el could, excellent, could. could, could. Ahora veamos la pregunta completa, la primera. Could you help me, please? Could you help me, please? Could you could help you me, help please? Could you help me, please? Could you help me, please? Could you, could you? Could you help me, please? Could you, could you Cool. Ok, no vamos a pronunciar cool. cool, no vamos a pronunciar cool, porque ahí estamos diciendo otra palabra, ok, entonces tenemos que decirlo cerrado así, could, con una D, ok, could, al cool. final, para que cool. se oiga con el sentido. Cool. Could, you could you help me please? Could you help me please? Could you help me please? Could you tell me the model? 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 Y aquí tenemos otra pregunta, pero no empieza con could. ¿Con qué empieza? Can. 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 Ajá. Podemos usar could o podemos usar can. Could es más polite que can. Can es un poquito más directa. ¿Ok? Can is a little more direct. So we say, can you hold on a second, please? Can you hold on a second, please? Everybody, can you hold on a second, please? Can you hold can on, you a, hold second, on please? a second, please? Can you hold on a second, please? Can you hold on a second, please? Okay, now let's see the last question that we have here. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Could, could you tell me um, what could I need? you tell me next? what I need to, to do next, please? Okay. Y notamos que utilizamos la palabra please. We use the word please because we are polite. We are respectful. So we use the the word please, please. Please lo podríamos utilizar exactamente al final como lo tenemos acá. O podríamos decir, could you please help me? Could you please help me? Después del pronombre podríamos poner please, ¿ok? Y suena bonito y suena muy polite, ¿ok? Very polite. So, oh, oh, what happened here? One second. Oh, my camera, guys. What is going on with my camera? I'd like to report a problem. <laughs> guys, I'd like to report a problem. What is the problem, teacher? What is the problem, what is the problem teacher? teacher? Hi, the my problem. camera just shut down. <laughs> Ah, uh, my camera is off. Oh my God, what am I going to do? Just give me one second. I'm going to change to connection camera. Yeah, I tried, but uh, let's look up for the solution. Hey, let's look out for the solution. Uh huh. The USB port. My computer doesn't recognize the USB port. Oh my God. Reset, what else teacher, can I reset, do? Teacher. <laughs> reset. <laughs> reset. Yeah, you, you're right. But no, we're not going to reset right now. <laughs> we have to update, right? <laughs> Let's replace it. Okay, let's see. Let me go to the settings here to change it. 
Let me go to the settings. Oh my God, thank you very much for uh, being there. <sighs> okay, one second. Ahorita estoy, uh-huh, ah, there we are. Yes, yes, we did it. Thank you for the solution, guys. <laughs> Okay, I didn't reset it. I didn't reset it, Giovanni, okay? Uh, what I did it was to unplug and plug it in, okay? Plug it in. Lo desconecté del USB port y lo volví a conectar. I unplug this thing from the USB port and then I plugged it again, okay? Plugged it again. I'm sorry, plugged it again. Okay, let's continue. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's almost time, it's almost time. So um, we're continuing with this. Let me share the screen now. Here we are. Okay. Si se fijan estas preguntas, todas son con you, ¿verdad? You, porque estamos hablando dos personas. Ok, pero si hablam, habláramos de una tercera persona, que estamos requiriendo que una tercera persona haga algo o diga algo o traiga algo, whatever you want to say about the third person, pueden utilizar perfectamente she, he, it con estos eh, auxiliares o estos verbos modales para poder hablar en una forma very respectful and very polite. Um, it's, it no cambia, okay? It doesn't change. You you say, could she tell? Could she tell what to do? For example, could she tell? Could she do? Could she, whatever, right? So this is just saying, and then I'm going to show you how. Now, let's figure it out. Number one, number one. Mm -hmm. Let's complete this. We'll do that. Could you tell me? Could you lie? No, here is could you. Could you tell me? Um, could you tell me what the model is? Okay, very good. And number two? Can you describe? Yes, we could say, can you describe the problem? Yes. Or we could say, could you describe the problem, please? And it will be more polite. <laughs> you see here? Like, could you help me, please? Could you tell me the model, right? And so you can, um, you can use them as direct as you want or as polite as you want. As polite as you want or very polite is good. Less polite is can. Now let's see here. And let's see the structure. Let's see the structure. Mm-hmm. What is the structure to use could for polite requests? Uh -huh. Could plus subject plus verb in the base form. Aquí sí tiene que ser el infinitivo. No lo podemos usar en ninguna otra forma del verbo. Tiene que ser el infinitivo. Cuando decimos, could you uh, bring your cell phone? Okay. So, bring sería el verbo en su forma base, infinitiva. And then we add a complement. Okay. A complement. Un complemento. And let's remember that a request is a question. Okay. Now let's see the examples. Number one. Can you read it, please, Wendy? Number one. Could you write this report, please? Mm -hmm. Imaginémonos que su jefe, let's imagine that your boss is asking you to do something, okay? In this case, your boss is asking to uh, you to write the reports, right? So he says, could you write these reports, please? 
Could you write these reports, please? And this is very formal language. This is very formal language, okay? Okay, this is very formal language. Let's see, could you write these reports, please? Ok. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que agregamos acá en estas eh, formas de pedir algo? The word please. The word please. Ok. Number two. Can you read it, please? Uh, let's say here. I can't see everybody. Omar, can you read number two? Okay, teacher. Uh, could you deliver these letters today, please? Okay, very good. So, could you deliver these letters today, please? Ajá, uh -huh. ¿cómo está el verbo? El verbo es en su forma base. Could goes to the beginning. And we add please. Okay, now let's see. Is the same thing for using can, ok, se usa de la misma forma y la misma estructura, ok, ahora vamos a ir a ver algunos ejemplos de oraciones, some examples of sentences. Ok. ¿Cómo preguntaríamos a alguien que nos dé su nombre así por teléfono? Uh, ¿Cómo le preguntaríamos a alguien que nos diga su nombre, pero de una manera muy polite? Ajá. Call. Ajá. Could you tell me your full name? Very good. And then we add, please. Okay. And we add the question mark. Then we say, could you tell me your full name, please? Okay. Y que nos va a responder? A ah, su nombre completo y nosotros lo escribimos acá, right? And the name of the complainant. Now let's ask about the phone number. The phone number, how do we request for that information in a polite way? Uh -huh. Teacher, en esta oración, el verbo base, uh -huh. ¿cuál sería? Tell. Si decimos call, más you, uh. Tell. Tell, ajá, uh -huh. decirme. Ok, tell. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. okay. Teacher, uh, mm -hmm. I can say, uh, could you, uh, could you give me the, uh, oh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, oh, it's, it's, uh, it's number, phone number. Uh, yes, phone number. Ok, uh -huh. ok. Oh, could you give me uh, your phone number, please? Very good. Pero como queremos llenar es, es, eh, lugar, eh, perdón, espacios específicos, veamos qué le vamos a preguntar en este caso. Home phone number, right? Oh. Uh, could you give me your home, home phone, phone number. number? Yes. Okay. Y le podemos decir please. En unas podemos decir please, en otras podemos mantenerlo así como para, no en todas, please, 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 please. No, right? Uh, we can uh, do these variations of the language to maintain it um, kindly and nice. Okay, así agradable, nice, a nice conversation. Now let's think how can you request the information about the address? Mm -hmm. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Could you please, podríamos decirlo en medio, decíamos, uh -huh. tell me your address. Okay, could you please tell me your address? Okay. Ahora, ¿cómo le pedimos el email address? Coyo. Uh -huh. Give me. Okay. Uh -huh. Your email. Very good. Your email address. Now, this is the way to request information or to request in a very polite way, okay? We use could plus the pronoun or the subject and the verb in the form uh, and the base form or the infinitive form, and then a compliment, a compliment. We add the word please, and the question mark when we are writing, okay? Questions, uh, questions so far? Do you have questions so far? No questions? En una... Yes, Cristina? Digamos que para esta misma oración la podríamos utilizar el can. Yes, of course, pero se sentiría como más directo, ¿ok? O como una manera un poquito menos formal. No quiere decir que es del todo, o sea, sí se puede usar, sí se puede usar. Pero no es indistinto en el sentido que could is more polite, can is less polite, ¿ok? Ok, thank you. Ok, there you go. Como más directo si utilizamos quién. Ok, normalmente quién lo estamos utilizando entre colegas y eso, ¿verdad? Pero ya en un procedimiento, en un proceso donde requerimos información sensible o lo que sea, entonces, could you, ok. Sí, puede usar quién en informal ways, ok. Aunque, como repito, no es exclusivo, ¿verdad? No es exclusivo. Se pueden usar las dos como para variar, right? Mm -hmm. No more questions? Okay, we have only two minutes. Just let me show you this, okay? Can and could for polite requests. Let's see these examples of, of questions that we can use. Can we talk later? Can we talk later? For example, with my colleague or maybe between friends, I can say, can we talk later? Okay. You get it? Can I speak to the supervisor? Can I speak to the supervisor? Cuando uno recibe esta pregunta, ok, can I speak to the supervisor? Uno tiene que buscar la solución como sea porque no queremos que el cliente hable con nuestro supervisor, ¿verdad? <laughs> ok, so we say, can I speak to the supervisor? Then we know that something is wrong, ok, or the customer wants something, um, ok, to correct some errors. Okay, now let's continue. Can you send a confirmation email to my personal account too? Can you send a confirmation email to my personal account too? Okay. Can they bring the complaint form to sign it? Could you give your email address, please? Could you give your email address, please? Aquí podríamos agregarle mi. Okay, could you give me? Your email address, just give me one second. I'm going to try to do this. Okay. Could you check the monitor, please? It doesn't seem to work. Could you check the monitor, please? It doesn't seem to work. Could you help me, please? 
Could you help me, please? Could you help me, please? Could you please tell me what I am doing wrong? Could you please tell me what I need to do next? Could you please tell me what I need to do next? Ahora, ¿cómo contestamos esto? How do we answer this? If someone is offering, or I'm sorry, requesting for that information. Podemos usar la palabra, sure. Okay. Sure. Okay. Well. Okay. Y decimos lo que complementa. For example, can we talk later? Oh, sure. Uh, can I speak to the supervisor? Well, y ponemos ahí lo que suceda, ¿verdad? Uh, he is in a meeting at the moment. Can you wait? Okay. For just a minute or whatever you want to say. You can use well and then you explain. Can you send a confirmation email to my personal account too? Ah, aquí podríamos decir no problem. Okay. No problem. Para contestar, to answer. Okay. Or just provide the information. Just provide the information. Podríamos utilizar estas palabras y luego proveer la información. Okay? Are we okay with this at the moment? Are we okay with this at the moment? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, I see you like, yes, oh, yes, teacher. Hey, pero ahora imagínense, reportamos un problema real y ustedes resolvieron un problema real. Yes, teacher, a real problem solved. Okay, there you are. There you are. Ahora le tocaba el turno a un muchacho que no apareció. Okay, así que tengo ese espacio. I have that opportunity available. Who wants to stay in the assessment 101? One to one. ¿Quién quiere quedarse a preguntar? No, eh, uno, por favor. Eh, no se enojen los demás, no puedo. Solo, solo uno. <laughs> uh, got you guys. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, who wants? I'm going to give some time. Okay, I'm going to give some time. Meanwhile, I'm opening the attendance, okay? Attendance list. Mientras tomo la asistencia, piénsenlo, okay? Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodríguez. Present. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Okay, Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present teacher. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present. Nancy Ivette Tova Rivera. Present okay, there you are. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present. Okay. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Okay. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Okay. Thank you very much, guys, for. Um, Attending to, tonight. Last opportunity. 
three, two. Nobody? No? Okay, no problem, no problem. I see that you are okay now. So guys, you may have a good night and let's meet um, tomorrow in the video conference. Okay. Uh, no, not tomorrow, not tomorrow. Hey, good night. Okay, good night. <laughs> mañana no, mañana no. Let's remember. Good night, teacher. <laughs> Hasta Friday. Yes. Good night. Okay, okay. let's, okay, okay. Good night. Okay, good night. Good night. See, you good night. See you Friday. Good night, teacher. See you Friday. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night, teacher. Take good night. care. Good night. You take care too. Bye. Omar? Are you there?